channel cutting. So if you wanna create a little texture on this haircut, um, going through here and just sliding through it is pretty, a pretty cool technique. And this is a forgiving way to do it. So you can see these lines and texture that it creates in there. Or you could do it with the scissor. So your scissor just like this and you just half close and work your way through it. So we half close just like this through the hair. This is gonna be a little bit more extreme, but not extreme. There's really nothing crazy that happens. It just takes some of the hair and randomly makes it shorter. So I'll work my way across here, slide cutting through. So you can see when you comb the hair out, you can't even really tell, except for it looks a little more textured uh, throughout the cut. And then once you get the one side done, you comb the hair down and then you can work backhand and work through it that way. All right, so that's that part. So now I've got texture going through the top portion of the haircut. So you can see all that texture that's happening through the top. As I go in, I was talking about the Yuragi number six here. Um, and this is where I like having, see the two tangs there. I can flip it and have it this way with the blade underneath, which is what I like. So whenever I'm cutting kind of in blending, I like having that steady blade as an actual blade. Most of the time when you buy an offset texture scissor, the steady blade is the teeth. Um, but my preference is to have it this way, but I can switch this one. So if I wanted to cut backhand and do that drag technique this way, I can keep the blade down. And then what I do is I flip the scissor around and then I have this way I can cut it uh, as well. The other thing is I like to point cut with a texture scissor um, to just remove some bulk. And I like having that steady blade come across. So what I'm gonna do is because I said this is the heaviest portion of this haircut, right? In the very front, I'll take it all up in my hand like this. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna cut and just kind of drag up. And what that's gonna do is start to remove that density and bulk from the front of this haircut. So bring it here at my fingers, cut and just drag. So then it cuts different levels, removes different bits of weight, keeps the length. Don't do it too fast. If you start chomping real quick, it will go away. So just one, two, three, through it. So now I'm just gonna fine tune a little bit and then we'll add in some styling product. Now, if they had a longer face, I might keep this fringe as is. Um, might not go into it too much let it live down instead of up. Like with the round face, I'm gonna have this style. See how I flip that? And I have the blade down. Um, so like that. We got more of these coming in guys, we sold out. And they're actually, they won't have my logo on them. They'll have the FSE logo on them next. Um, they're on their way, but these little Velcro clips are awesome for short hair. So I comb this hair back and I literally set this right here on the parting, comb the hair out and look how it holds the hair perfectly kind of where I want it. I use these all day when I'm cutting in the salon. If I'm going in and I want to do like a little scissor over comb work or detail like this little part of the hair, I'll use that Velcro clip to hold exactly the hair out of the way that I want. And then when I take the tri razor and I got my 25 texture side, I can literally go right at the root and just kind of slide into it and take out 25% of that hair and create just a really nice light effect in there. Products, all time favorites. This is a uh, Mitch reformer from Paul Mitchell. I got it all over my hands. And what I'm going to do, I tell every guy this is to work the product through this way, kind of like your channel cutting. And then I go back through the opposite direction and that's kind of wiping my hands off. Then I work the sides. And the final thing that I do, is work through the front because I don't want all the product into the front of the hair, right? So here, this goes up, 